might hold an answer. Large mammals like rhinos and elephants today tend to eat larger, more bitter fruits that are often neglected by smaller animals in their environments. These fruits evolve a thick rind and bitter compounds to deter small animals from eating their small, nutritious seeds. Larger animals are able to crush through the rind and digest the flesh within, all while dispersing the seeds through their feces. Sure enough, fossil mastodon dung dating as far back as 30,000 years ago has been found to include squash seeds. These megafauna had vast ranges, allowing squashes to colonize the Americas long before humans had even stepped foot on the continents. When mastodons and other Pleistocene megafauna went extinct around 12,000 years ago, the squash population dramatically declined. Without a host to propagate their seeds, they were regionally restricted and could hardly reproduce. However, shortly after humans stumbled onto the scene, several cultivation events occurred. Just a handful of wild species were selected for their sweetness and hardiness, and through generations of domestication, resulted in the squash varieties we know today. So the next time you're carving a jack-o'-lantern, enjoying a pumpkin spice latte or butternut squash soup, remember to thank those elephant ancestors for giving